everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms coming at y'all today with a top five PDWs. Now, what is a PDW or personal defense weapon? Uh, first off, all of these that we're gonna have today are not as fun because they're semi-auto and uh, most of them aren't NFA items, but most of them. But a PDW is typically smaller in size. It is pretty much an in-between a submachine gun and a carbine. The reason behind these were to have something that had great firepower and could be easily concealed or easily maneuverable. Um, so pretty much things like a P90 that I have here in front of me. Of course, this being the PS90, which we have featured in a lot of videos, have had plenty of trigger time with this guy. Chambered in 5.7 by 28, the entire design behind the P90 was for a PDW purpose, right? So very cool gun. It is a completely ambidextrous gun and it is a lot of fun to shoot. Of course, the true P90 is select fire where this is only semi-auto and also has a 16 inch barrel compared to the P90 that has a 10.4 inch barrel. So it cuts off about, you know, right here or so with the muzzle device. So really neat design. And again, it's made for PDW made for that select fire, whole lot of rounds downrange quickly and with something that's moving very fast as well, like the 5.7 by 28 cartridge, which is moving like at 2,800, 3,000 feet per second. Super fast guy. So that's what we're kicking it off with. And what do y'all say we talk about something that shoots something a little bit bigger, a little bit slower? but very cool. Let's talk about some 300 blackout. Next up on the list here is the Maxim PDX chambered in 300 blackout. Now granted, most PDWs are their own type of caliber. There might be something a little bit more intermediate, still like a, uh, you know, a bottleneck cartridge center fired, of course, but not typically something as big as like a 7.62. But, you know, that's just most of them. This, I definitely consider it being a PDX, its entire design was kind of to be a PDW, but with a 7.62 cartridge being 300 blackout, this thing is absolutely fun. Maxim Defense got it right with this guy for sure. And uh, I've had plenty of rounds sent down range with this guy with the ALG trigger, which is phenomenal. And also the SCW system that's in this guy, their subcompact weapon system makes it for a very short boy. All right, now this is a pistol. This is a Maxim Defense pistol brace that you have on it here. And their SCW system has an integrated uh, buffer, obviously, but it's kind of cut down pretty much. And so that makes your stock or brace a whole lot shorter as well. So once you, got, once you have this guy completely collapsed, which you can shoot in the collapsed position, as you can tell, it's just a tiny boy. All right. And 300 Blackout is a fantastic cartridge, especially if you're shooting it suppressed, which is like kind of the main reason to own a 300 blackout and what's also nice about it is 300 blackout burns has a full powder burn at a much shorter barrel than a lot of other rifle cartridges out there for instance take a look at 556 you're getting full powder burn on that guy at about 20 24 inches that's a long way 300 blackout about nine and a half somewhere right in that area nine and a half inches so you can have a much shorter barrel and not lose the complete effectiveness of the 300 blackout cartridge which is Pretty ideal if you ask me. So definitely 300 blackout, maximum defense, PDX is on my list. Now let's talk about something else that we could only wish, maybe one day, fingers crossed, coming from Germany, you guys probably know what it is. You may have guessed it. Next up is the HK MP7. Chambered in 4.6 by 30 millimeter, the entire premise behind this firearm was to defeat body armor of its time period, which was about the late 90s. It's been in service since the early 2000s, still in service today, and is pretty much designed just to defeat uh, like Kevlar type body armor. And the cartridge that it shoots, 4.6 by 30 millimeter, is something that's kind of different. You can look at a 5.7, imagine it a little bit smaller, and that's pretty much what you got. It's a 5.7 by 28 versus a 4.6 by 30. Very similar, but very different, right? So the entire premise, again, behind a PDW is to be a little bit more armor piercing because, granted, we're talking about HK here, the uh, SP5K that we have over here 
Great little firearm, but nine millimeter and your traditional pistol cartridges just aren't that great at defeating body armor. So that's when, you know, a lot of manufacturers, FN, HK, started to produce firearms chambered in their own chamberings. MP7 with the 4.6, FN with the 5.7, and also the 5.7 pistol, the P90, all, you know, all that fun stuff. So really cool firearm. This thing has a awesome rate of fire of about 950 rounds per minute. This thing screams, and just go ahead and hit a like if you absolutely love the Grand Thumbs intro on his HK MP7 video, hashtag Half-Life. So that thing is, it's a beautiful, beautiful little sub gun, not really a sub gun, beautiful little PDW. And I only wish, HK, if you're watching, everybody just go and comment now, just tag HK everywhere you possibly can. You brought us the SP5 and for that we are thankful. You brought us the SP5K, for that, again, we are thankful. Bring us an SP7. Next. Y'all already know I was gonna talk about the Micron again because this thing is just so freaking cool. Now this is, as you see it right now, configured an NFA item, meaning it does fall under the rules and regulations of the National Firearms Act, which I know sucks. So do like all gun laws, but hey, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, this is an NFA item, so you will need a tax stamp to own this. Not to purchase just the Micron kit, which is the 11 and a half inch barrel and all the other little pieces and everything else that you need to turn your Desert Tech MDR or MDRX into this little guy. But hey, to assemble it, yeah, it's an NFA item. But this thing is super cool. A bullpup design is phenomenal because it shortens the overall length of what a rifle is. So for instance, this has an 11 and a half inch barrel on it, but because the entire firing mechanisms are taking place behind the trigger group, everything's moved back a little bit further. So if I wanted to have like a traditional firearm, like the FAL here, uh, this short, first off, the barrel length would be like five inches and terrible for just about any cartridge that's a rifle cartridge. So bullpup configurations keep everything nice and short, great for that close quarters type of combat or you know, just being able to maneuver this guy around in tight quarters is a whole lot easier than you would think. And Desert Tech got it right with the MDRX and the Micron. I have had a lot of fun putting some rounds down range to this guy here. And if you haven't seen the video, of us uh, doing some test firing with this guy and shooting several hundred rounds with it. Go check it out. Link should be down below in the description. But yeah, this thing is awesome. Chambered of 5.56, you definitely have a great cartridge there. Obviously, it's been around for like ever now and is super effective. Even coming out of a short barrel like this, 11 and a half inches isn't bad. I would probably say personally, if I'm using a defensive firearm chambered in 5.56, I wouldn't go shorter than what I have, which is my Mark 18, and it's a 10.3 inch barrel. Granted, I run it suppressed most of the time with the Surefire RC2, which adds about six or so inches to it. So getting all of that, you know, kind of helps. So, you know, what are you gonna do? Anyway, uh, with that being said, bull pups are awesome. Being able to run AR mags, so you get you know all of that capability. Awesome, chambered in 5.56, great. The Micron is sweet, and I really don't want to send it back to Desert Tech. Next up is unfortunately another firearm we don't have in the house, but it's the AKS-74U. I am a huge fan of AK-74, especially them being chambered in the 5.45 caliber. 5.45 by 39 is similar to 7.62 by 39, other than the diameter of the actual projectile. It's just a little bit smaller and it's a fast mover too. It's moving at about 2,900 feet per second depending on barrel length and uh, granule weight. But it looks kind of like this guy right here. This is the ZPAP 85 chambered in 556. Uh, but the AKS 74U, the U standing for uh, Yukorechny, I want to say something like that, which just stands for shortened in Russia. So it's the AK 74 short. It looks like that right there, and they are awesome. If you ever get the chance to shoot a 545 caliber AK, I 10 out of 10 would recommend. They're light recoiling, they're accurate, and they are, again, fast little movers. So the velocity you get out of those guys, even out of a 16 inch barrel, is pretty freaking awesome. So, easy to handle, easy to maintain. Again, it's, it's an AK, you know? <laughs> Kalashnikov got it right many times, and uh, <laughs> the AK-74 is, uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. So what, what more can I say? So it's pretty much the Russian PDW that we had to throw up here because, hey, we had to throw some talent, you know, just a little bit of a shout out somewhere to Mr. Kalash because, well, you know what? 
Might have been a communist, but dang, he made some good guns. Gotta tell you. Anyway, AK-74s, they're sweet. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this list down in the comments section below. Was there a PDW that maybe I missed? I mean, we talked about the MP7, which is like, come on, HK, it's all right. <laughs> anyway, we talked about the MP7, but there is another one. There's another gun I do wanna talk about, just kind of an honorable mention really quick, because it's top five video, right? The FN Scar SC, subcompact. <laughs> Guess what it has? Guess what it doesn't have? A reciprocating charging handle. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's the end of the video. Anyway, it's a cool gun. It's the FN Scar shortened, and from what I've heard in the rumor mill, they're making one in 300 blackout, but they haven't released the 556 model to the general public, so I don't know. It could all just be a lie and a complete rumor, like some sort of Lance Corporal Underground type bullcrap, but whatever. What are you, you going to do? Anyway, hey, all of these guns I would absolutely love to get even more trigger time with on some of them and actually shoot for the first time a few others. And I want to hear what is your favorite down below in the comment section. Mine, I can't make up my mind right now. Probably the MP7, even though I've never pulled the trigger on it, but you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, if we ever got an MP7, we'd totally give it away. But since we don't have one, we're just going to go ahead and talk about the ZFK that we've got right here, which is totally not a PDW. This is more of a sniper setup with a three and a half power optic and chambered in 7.5 Swiss. That's something I forgot to mention in the video announcing this as our giveaway is what its chambering is. 7.5 Swiss or a GP11. And it sounds like too that uh, the Swiss are starting to manufacture GP11 in larger quantities again. So. Good news for all of you guys entering in this giveaway. Uh, this guy is absolutely beautiful, and I wasn't lying in the video announcing this as our giveaway. It is probably my favorite giveaway to date. Mm, maybe at least a close runner-up to the M14, just because of the historical significance of the M14 that we gave away. But this thing is so beautiful, so easy to shoot, and so much fun. So again, check out our video where you get to see me do a little bit of run and gun. I know, at a short range, I get it, I know, but hey, weather, time, availability of range, all that plays a factor into where we get to shoot. So just take it and be envious, you know, because <laughs> you haven't shot it. Now, some of you might have, and I want to know your experience, so let me know down in the comments, of course, but hey, it's a beautiful rifle. Get your entries in at classicfirearms.com. And don't forget to use the code word or code abbreviation. It's quite simply ZFK. And one of you guys said that I should have used the word love because how many times I mentioned I loved this rifle or I loved this rifle. Maybe you should just try the code word love and see if it works. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to leave it off there. Again, see you guys at classicfirearms.com. God bless. And I'll see you all down in the comments section. All about PDWs and ZFKs if you ever shot one.